My name is Marcella Mislago Areca, and you are here at Dream Asylum Studios here in Miami. Dream Asylum Studios was a dream, seriously, um, of Danger and I from back in, I want to say like 2006, maybe in 2005. You know, this job really requires for you to kind of put in, it's not like a nine to five, it's not an eight hour gig job, you know. You can sometimes be in here from four hours or you can be in here for 39 hours, you know, it never you never know. So at the time, I think we were doing like, 24 hours, seven days a week, like nonstop. And we just were like, you know, we don't want to be under the clock. You know, we want to be able to have our own place where we can create. I can, you know, if I want to take three days on a mix, I'll take three days on a mix. You know, if he wants to take eight days to create a track, then that's what it's going to take. You know, if that like, you know, we can bring in artists and, and they don't have to feel like they're under the clock, you know, and, and it's just a very free flowing creative environment. So I think that was the main goal of being able to one day build this place for something to be a thought and then actually be a real thing. That that's a real that's a really cool thing to to experience. I'm somebody that I still use analog gear, but I'm now mixing a lot more not in the box, like I will start a mix in the box. And then eventually it'll, it'll be broken out onto the board and then I'm then I'm using outboard gear. Plugins are very important in the creative, you know, mix it down to the engineering mixing side of things. Some of the Waves vintage modeling plugins that I use would be, you know, definitely the SSL 4000. Love the EQ on there. And the King's microphone plugin from Abbey Road Collection. It's just a, a great sounding creative tool for me that sometimes I need to just kind of go um, specifically into like an EQ range that the, that mic actually produces and it's emulated very well. So I do like, I do use that one. Some of my favorite Waves plugins um, are some of the first ones that ever came out, but to this date, they're just like impeccable for me um, and how I use them. Um, one of them being the R compressor which is a compressor that I love, love to use on mainly vocals. I have used them from time to time on certain instruments, but I, I will talk about how I use them on vocals and why I love this particular compressor. You can really just get into the nitty gritty and I love how subtle it can it, it is and it doesn't, I, I think for that reason, it is a subtle compressor because it's, it's really up to you and how you use it. So to me, it's a really, you know, really, really cool plugin. This is this is my go-to. Like I can almost tell you, like every mix I've ever done, starting from the very first one, the one that I did last night that I finished at four in the morning, has this. One of my favorite favorite plugins out of anything that's really out there is the Waves Enigma plugin. Now this plugin is so cool because it just has a different array of different effects. So for instance, this particular uh, song has an intro where I wanted it to sound really cool. The effect that I have it going through is the Enigma Guitar Slapper 2. This is probably one of my most favorite presets. It's just super awesome. I mean, I love to just crank up the mix sometimes. Same thing as any other Waves plugin. Everything is just so intricate. Like you can just get down right to the parameter that you would want it to be. Um, you can also, you know, adjust your EQ down here. So you can really, you know, you can just really, you know, affect the effect by all the different parameters in this one. So it's just another amazing, amazing plugin that I love to use. Um, as well as the Metaflanger, which is another one. This one I love. I, I love to use Metaflanger. Like for the most part, I can just pop this one on. I don't even really tweak anything sometimes on it. I can just find, you know, some of my favorite presets, which would be the classic uh, phaser. The Reflection Room, you know, that's another one. And the last one that I love to use is the Up and Down Phaser. And sometimes even the Doubler, depending on what I want to use it for. These are just great, great, you know, presets that were created for it. So another plugin that I love to use comes from the Waves Abbey Road Collection, and that's the King's Microphone. Now this particular plugin I love to use, um, you know, just something that if I need something on a creative level that requires like, you know, a certain EQ, I don't want to use like 
create a telephone EQ or a microphone EQ. This is a really great plugin because I think the emulation on how they got the sound of these mics are so amazing. I think it's a great design as well. But, um, I, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's a creative tool, so I love using it, you know, and I've used it on, you know, a handful of mixes. It's, like I said, it's not like it's something that you're going to use on every single mix, but you'll know when you need it and it's there. So another plugin that I love to use, and I wouldn't necessarily call it a trick or anything or a secret, but I think a lot of people don't um, think about or when they ask me, how do I get a vocal to be so present when I have such a huge 808 and, and all these synths and, you know, just a lot of, you know, music production happening, but the vocal still sits there and it sits in a great place. Well, obviously there's a lot of compression that's involved. There's a lot of EQ, all these things matter. But I think the one thing that I really wanted to have that, that oomph that, that I want it to be in your face would be this plugin right here. The Renaissance Vox is an amazing, amazing tool for you to just, get your vocal to be sitting right in front of you.